Today's lesson is how to make this really cute cupcake purse. It can be made in any size and it's very easy to adjust the size of the cupcake. I think this would be really cute for any little girl. A great quick easy project for Christmas time. Or any time really, it doesn't have to be Christmas or birthdays. So I hope you go enjoy the video. So let's get started. For today's project you're going to need some colour yarn of your choice. This is my second colour and then this is the main colour. So you can choose whatever colour you like of course. I'm using a G size hook or a 4mm and 8 ply or double knit or I think it's light worsted weight yarn. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a sewing needle. We are going to chain 3. And we're going to work 11 half double crochets into this first chain space. So what we need to do is wrap our hook going into the first chain, yarning over pulling up a loop, you've got three on your hook, yarning over and pulling through all three. We're going to be working 11 stitches because our first chain 2 counts as our first stitch. So all together we're going to have 12 stitches into this first chain. And if you find they're not fitting in grab hold of this piece and then grab hold of your stitches and just pull them around to squash them up. So let's see how many we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Now how I count the stitches, the easiest way is to count these little tiny loops on the top here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that one there is our 12 because it's our chain. And we're going to slip stitch into the beginning chain 2. So we're just going into there. And then slip stitching to join. Then we're going to chain two and what we need to do now is we want to put two stitches in every stitch around so into this same stitch into there we're going to work a half double crochet because it's working two stitches into the same stitch and each stitch around we need to work two stitches and to make sure we've got the 12 so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You've got to make sure you do two in every stitch. So that's into the next stitch. We're going under both loops and working two half double crochets in every stitch around. So at the end we should have 24 stitches. So continue on until you have your 24 stitches, remembering that your chain 2 counts as your first stitch. So when we get to the end we're going to slip stitch to join into this chain 2. And with this one you want to work as many rounds as the size that you want the bottom 
of your project that you're making. So we're going to chain two and we're going to put one half double crochet into the next stitch. So this is our first stitch because that's where our chain three is coming out of and this is our next stitch. So going under both loops, working your half double crochet, we're going to work one uh, two stitches in the next stitch because you've got one by itself and then an increase so you need another one by itself and then an increase which is two stitches into the same stitch we're going to repeat this all the way around so it's one in one two in the next one in the next stitch two in the next stitch one in the next and two in oops two in the next we're going to repeat that all the way around till we come to the beginning of our row when we get to the end this is actually this little space here is actually this stitch here because it's a chain it looks funny doesn't look as the same as what it would on a normal stitch so I don't actually go into that one we always end on an increase two in each stitch so we're going to slip stitch into the chain two which is the second chain of the chain two pulling through your yarn now this is about two inches wide so keep going until you have yours big enough that what size you want the base of your project if you want to increase in more rounds you chain up two and then you would do I'll just show you so we chain up two in the next stitch we would work one stitch by itself so you've got two stitches but they're in each stitch by themselves so one two by themselves and then an increase so that's two in the same stitch the next one you would do one by himself, one by itself, and then an increase. So the way I do that when I'm counting in my head, I say one, two, so it's one in each stitch, increase, one, two, so the two are by themselves there, this is in one stitch, that one's in the next one, and then two, so I'm going one, two, increase, one, two, increase. One, two, increase and go around. If you wanted another row, it would be one, two, three by themselves and then an increase. And then one, two, three, and then an increase. So just go until you've got it wide enough. This is as wide as what I need mine. So let's go back to where we were. Now we're going to work one half double crochet, but we're going to work into the back loops only. So we're going to chain up two, wrap your yarn, and we're going into the back loop. So when you look at your stitching, you've got the V's, if you turn it that way, you've got the V. And normally you would go under the two loops, so you would have, can't get them apart now you would have two loops on your hook. So what we're going to do is when you look at it from the top we're going into the back loop only which is here. See that loop there? And that's the front loop there. No idea what that noise was. So we're going to yarn over, go into the back loop only, and then work your stitch as normal. Yarning over, going into the back loop only and working it as normal so you just go between the two stitches and then hook on to the back one you want to repeat this all the way around until we get to the beginning 
I'm actually going to just leave this running because if I have too many video clips I can only combine 21 if I have too many I can't make the video all in one and I've got to do it part one, part two, etc. So let's just work around. So what you're doing by going into the back loops only, you're creating this ridge here. See this little ridge that's working away around? What it's going to do is when it's sitting flat, it's going to make the stitches stand up like so which just helps it create a nice distinctive base on it rather than it just curving up ways it's actually going to sit up pretty straight so how long have you guys been crocheting for? myself I think I'm nearly coming up to 10 years which I cannot believe. Oops. What's your favourite item to make as well? I don't really have a favourite item to make. I like making quick projects that don't take very long at all. I don't think I could ever make a blanket or an afghan. Like a full sized one, that is. I think it would drop in knots. I like quick little items baby scarves, baby items. Oh, get on there. There you go, so we've only got a couple of stitches left. Pause the video if you need to. Until we come up to our last stitch. So now our last stitch, it's already got a stitch. Well, I've already done my last stitch there, so that's worked with the chain two. So we're just slipping into the top of the chain two, which is the second chain of the chain. So if it ever says into the top of the chain three, what that means is you're going into the third chain with your slip stitch. We're just trying to confuse you. So here we go. Let's have a look at this. See how that's sitting up nice and straight. It's I might need to flatten it down a bit and push it up. And as you go along, it's going to have a nice firm base. That's what we need. Now you, you could insert some cardboard or some stiff plastic if you'd like to to keep it even more firmer. Completely up to you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that last row, but we're going to go through both loops. But you could go through the back loops if you wanted to, it won't make any difference. We're going to do one stitch in every stitch around, joining and then doing our chain two. And here's one I prepared earlier. I love saying that, how they do on the cooking shows. So you're going to make it, this is about, where's my tape measure? It's not handy. So we've got about a two inch base. Of course you can make your base as big as you like. I'm just going to make really small ones. So as you can see it's not very big at all. So keep going until it's long enough and the height... You wonder why I'm doing this with my thumb. My mum always said that that's supposed to be an inch. I don't know if it's true but... That's probably about two inches as well. So it's probably about the same height than it is round. So it doesn't matter. You can do it whatever size you like. You could do a really big one if you like. That'd look really cute too. So let's see how high I've made mine. Mine is two inches or five centimeters high, and the base is about two and a third. If that's even an amount, it's two and a half is there. It's just a little bit smaller where it's about six centimeters wide at the bottom. But you can make it as big or as tall as you like. So what you're going to do is we're going to finish off here. 
we're changing to our icing colour. So my icing colour is going to be pink. I'm going to have a strawberry cupcake. So joining your yarn in anywhere around that last row, so just going through like so. I've just looped my yarn over my hook, pulled through, dropping the short piece at the back, and then doing a chain. Pull down on the short piece, or on the pink piece, pull down, and that will secure that in. I'm going to work a chain one. I'm actually going to work over my yarn, so I'm just holding it across the top like so. And then I'm going to work a row of half double crochet, one in each stitch, all the way around. So let's just zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Working into each stitch, working a half double crochet. Working all the way around. And see how my yarn is getting captured between my stitches. It's basically just laying on the top and your hook is going into the stitch so that tail is at the top there. And you're just working around it like so. So you want to continue around until we have one row of your colour of your choice and I will meet up with you then. So now we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the beginning. And now we're going to be working our ruffle, which is our icing. This could be done a number of ways. You could work just a ruffle, so it's like three double crochet stitches into the same stitch, or you could work a shell stitch around, like doing five double crochets into the same space, skipping one, single crochet into the next, skipping one, and then five again. But I'm going to show you the easy way. So we're just going to chain three. But into the front loop, we're always working in the front loop on just on this round because we need to work on the back loop in the next round. So going into the front loop only. I'll just work this one and then I'll show you on the next one where the front loop is properly. So we're working three stitches into there. So looking at the top of our stitch here, we normally go under both stitches, both loops. So we've got one, two, but we're just going to go into the front one only. So instead of going under two, we're going to go under one and then work our stitch normally. So working three double crochets into all the front loops around on this row, leaving the back loop vacant because we're using that on the next row that we do. So once we have our icing row complete, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, and three. And we're going to do a slip stitch. And now we are going to be working in the back loops of that same row that we just did. So we might have to break off your yarn here because otherwise it's going to pull it in. That's going to look funny. you'll need to sew in that end and now we need to rejoin our yarn in the back loops of this stitch here and because it's a half double crochet it should have like two loops it has this funny loop at the back so you could even work through that those two loops instead of working through the front the just the one loop. So I'm going to try with the two, see how that goes. You can do it either way you like. So just join your yarn like I showed you before. So we're going to work half double crochet, so we're working two chains. And then see these two loops here? These are the vacant loops. So that's a back loop 
that we didn't work, we worked only the front loop. But there's actually two loops, so I'm going to work through there. This will give it a nice firm edge on it. And it might even help the icing part or the the frilly part, the thrusting, to stay downwards instead of sticking up. So we're just doing one in each stitch all the way around. And then we'll meet you when we get around the other end. And now we're going to join to the beginning chain too. Making sure we go under both loops. So now on the next row we're just going to work a row of increasing because on a cupcake and when you draw it together at the top you want it to be all uh, like puffy, like the top of a cupcake. So what we're going to do, and it, when we finish our row, it's not even, it doesn't matter too much. It's no biggie. So from now on you can work um, half double crochet or you can work the double crochet as well. So if you're doing a half double you're going to do two, two chains. If you're working a double you're going to do three chains. What we're going to do in the next stitch we're going to work two stitches in the same stitch. So that's one and two. In the next stitch we're going to work one. So what we're going to do is increase in every second stitch. So there's one in that one, so we need to increase in the next one. So that's two into the same stitch. One in the next one. And then increase in the next one. Increase in the next. So just repeat this around, and you should end up on an increase. If you don't, it's no biggie, like I said, it's not going to matter. This doesn't need to fit anybody, so... And it gets drawn together at the top, so it's, if it's a one stitch out, it isn't going to notice at all. So just keep going around until you finish this row. So I've just slipped stitch to join that row. And now we're just going to chain two and work one stitch into every stitch around and we're going to do this until our icing part of our bag is big enough. Now I've never made one of these before so I'm just going to keep going until I think it's big enough and then I'll show you in the video after I've finished it. But I would say that it's basically what, looking at a cupcake, the the amount of that you've done the bottom part, so the amount you've done this part, plus a bit more, I would say. So one stitch and each stitch around. And if you watch just after I've stopped this part, you'll see how big I've made it. So I did five rows on the base of the cupcake and I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows on the top of the cupcake. So what I've done now is I've made a chain. It's probably about 30, 35 centimeters long and it's long enough to go around the top and then add a little bit on the edge. And I'm just going to weave it in and out of the stitches and this is going to be the strap for our bag. So I'm just go every second stitch and then I'm just going to weave it in so as you can see I just tied my chain in a knot and there we have our cupcake purse like I said you could put something stiff in the bottom like a piece of plastic or cardboard keep the shape on the bottom of your cupcake. So 
So thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to join our Facebook page and Ravelry page. And also you can email me photos in the email in the description box. It's below the video. And until next time, happy crochet.